Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has seven scriptures. The first six are taken from the King James Version of the Bible. And the last one will be at the end of this prophetic word in a separate video. And it is taken from the New King James Version. The first scripture is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verses 6 through 9. And it reads... Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord, thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting. I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and terrors upon the city. She that hath borne seven languisheth. She hath given up the ghost. Her son is gone down while it was yet day. She hath been ashamed and confounded, and the residue of them Will I deliver to the sword before their enemies, saith the Lord. The second scripture is the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. And it reads, Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, in the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as the early dew it goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. There have they dealt treacherously against me. The third scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 through 28. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. The fourth scripture is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, and it reads, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The fifth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse 12, and it reads, And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. The sixth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 6 through 9, and it reads, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. 
Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Now for the message. Received from the Lord God on May 27th, 2024. The trappings of a fallen world is becoming unfurled right before your very own eyes, my beloved daughter. You believe it even though you don't see it yet, at least not the complete and total revelation. You've seen extraordinary sights for sure in the skies above, but they are being ignored or explained away there has been a delay those in the know realize this they see through their hypersonic telescope lenses they believe it would have already become noticed by now they are on standby for it is so close to the artificial sun they are afraid something will happen very soon to surprise everyone. Then what will they do? They figure they must be at least three steps ahead of you. They are looking into alternative ways of living. They are giving their attention to how society will react to the fact that there are additional planetary bodies orbiting around Earth's sun. They are trying to come up with an explanation that is plausible enough to overcompensate for their deception. This situation is a rare one indeed. If they were to come forward with this information beforehand, they know it would cause such great commotion and panic that they have ultimately decided against it. They are the rulers of the nations worldwide. They have their pride and do not wish to risk a governmental coup or many people committing suicide after they see the enormity of these planets in the skies above. Everyone who's in the know is so very nervous. Many in military service are sworn to secrecy. They have been alerted, too, to the enormity and gravity of the situation at hand. The word gravity I am using as a pun, for it will be Earth's gravity with its pulling forces that will start the process moving along. Be strong, my beloved daughter, for in a very short time period, meteor showers will begin. They will start out slowly like shooting stars. They will create an explanation for it. Space debris from Mars is flying by. They will lie and use any feasible report that sounds reasonable to debunk any fact-based theories. My beloved children, it won't be long now for my darkness event is on the horizon. It will be shocking and so very surprising once it begins in earnest. It will usher in a great revival of sorts. People will cry out to me in their agony and grief over the missing children. They will be in disbelief and stories will be told of a supernatural alien abduction. 
This is a lie straight from the pits of hell. Your children are fine and are mine too. They are safe and with me and the Heavenly Father on New Jerusalem. You were not ready yet, but they are under the age of accountability. They will be with me celebrating at the marriage supper of the Bride of Christ. How can I avoid this tragedy, you may ask? Allow me into your hearts. A-S-A-P. Accept me and believe I paid the ultimate price for thee. My blood sacrifice is sufficient to allow you into the kingdom. All you must do is confess with your mouth and believe in your hearts that my blood covers you. Then you will go up to with your children under the age of accountability. Just know this, no prideful person will be accounted worthy, so get the pride out of your hearts right away. Decide to make me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a priority in your life. Then you will be my wife and I, your husband, forevermore in paradise. No more cares of this world. Only joy, peace, love, and harmony are permitted in heavenly new Jerusalem. With everlasting love, Jesus, your bridegroom and holy redeemer of God. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. The book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 13. Hello, I just wanted to add that I was thinking about the words hypersonic telescope from the message that I received from the Lord on May 27, 2024. And I found this news article from the website llnl.gov. It is entitled Prototype Telescope Designed by Lawrence Livermore. Researchers launched to the International Space Station. Underneath the photo, it says SpaceX launched its 27th contracted cargo mission for NASA Tuesday, March 14th. And this is back in 2023. I'll show you the date at the end of the article in a moment. Sending a robotic dragon capsule aloft from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the capsule carried a telescope that uses LLNL patented monolithic optics technology, photo courtesy of NASA, a prototype telescope designed and built by Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, LLNL. Researchers has been launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida to the International Space Station ISS, known as the Stellar Occultation Hypertemporal Imaging Payload SOHIP, the telescope uses LLNL patented monolithic optics technology on a gimbal to observe and measure atmospheric gravity waves and turbulence. So it measures the gravity. That's key in the message. Launch Tuesday, the SOHIP instrument will be installed as part of the Department of Defense's Space Test Program Houston 9 platform once it is on board the ISS. An interdisciplinary Livermore team produced the SOHIP instrument and met rigorous NASA safety requirements for inclusion on NASA's ISS, a laboratory first. SOHIP also was delivered on time and on a budget of just $1 million dollars. Our goal was to design, develop, and deliver a pair of compact, durable, single-unit telescopes leveraging the laboratory's patented monolift technology and off-the-shelf parts requiring minimal or zero on-orbit testing for inclusion on the ISS, said Pete Supsinskas, 
Chief Space Technologist for the LLNL Space Science and Security Program, and we met that goal. Hypersonic vehicles such as airplanes or missiles traveling at five times the speed of sound below altitudes of 90 kilometers or 56 miles operate in the extreme unpredictable environment of the upper atmosphere which can impact flight performance, atmospheric gravity waves, oscillations of air that transport energy and momentum from the lower to the upper atmosphere as they propagate vertically and horizontally create turbulence like ocean waves crashing on a beach. If the boundary layer on a hypersonic vehicle is exposed to atmospheric turbulence along its flight path, aerodynamic drag and heat on the vehicle will increase significantly, affecting control of the vehicle, said Matthew Horsley, a LLNL physicist and SOHIP principal investigator. If we could accurately predict the conditions that trigger these erratic gravity waves or hypersonic flows, it could inform better vehicle design, reduce costs, and improve overall hypersonic flight performance. Okay, there it shows you the lab employees. Okay, so I believe this article is key and it supports and confirms the message that I received. And as you can see, this was back on March 16th. 2023. So if you don't know who your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is, get to know him right away. He is coming for his bride any moment. And you do not want to be left behind to be tempted by the enemy and be here without your children if you're not ready. And may God bless you.